Catch a breath eventually. Can I ask for one thing? Could you find the model number of the rover? <sighs> what for? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. Uh, Emmett 2001. Could that be it? Uh, let me see. Bingo. Emmets are equipped with a black box. Please find it. I have the box, but it's all locked up. Really? Uh, they must have changed the equipment because I have no information about a key. Where did you even get a catalogue of their gear from, sir? And anyway, it doesn't matter. What should I do? One second. I need to think. Don't know if this can help. But the Alliance labels black boxes as data lockers. You will have cable access. Look for something resembling a socket, a plug. I think I have something like that. Then you can connect to the probe's brain there. And presto. Won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box should already fit. Same guts, hey? Just like with humans. Okay, it's in. Just a moment. Well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. So, what now? You can finally rest. It'll take me a while to dig through all the records. was connected to a base. The one from the slides? Oh, most probably. On the other channels, all I hear is static. Yeah, the storm must be causing interference. No one is transmitting from the base. I'd suggest you lie down. The storm is raging. Best to sleep through the night. It may not be that simple. I'm too tired to sleep. Yeah, I know that paradox all too well. Can I help you somehow? Maybe I'll fall asleep if we talk. Naturally. Do you have anything specific in mind? Well, I'd love to know some official secrets about the Alliance base. The reason they're interested in this desiccated, bizarre planet that is Regis Three. Are you implying that I should know these secrets? Yes. I think you're hiding something from me, sir. And at this stage of the mission, I lack both the strength and the inclination to beat around the bush. In that case... Let me reveal something I should never say as a commander. I have no idea what's going on on this desiccated, fossilized egg. I don't know where the Alliance forces came from, why they came, or what they're doing here. But since we lost contact with the camp, I've had the feeling that I am deep in the dark. Yeah, me too. Quite literally. So I suggest we talk about something else, instead of getting ahead of ourselves. A more light-hearted subject, perhaps. I wonder why I even applied for this job. 
It's probably because when I was three years old, my father and I stepped out into the garden to gaze at the stars, and I cried. <laughs> Stupid, right? Were you afraid of the dark? Sort of. It felt like I was falling upwards, being pulled in by the starry sky. The cosmos turned out to be so infinitely vast, and I was so infinitely small, and I didn't understand any of it. Why am I here? Why is everything here? What is it for? I couldn't find an answer. So I cried. Great. You became an astronaut because the cosmos terrifies you. No. Because someday I want to understand. Or at least find as many answers as possible. And finally stop being afraid. But you won't come close to knowing everything. Trust me. I'm not fooling myself. Someday maybe I'll just know enough. reminded of one of the solutions to the Fermi Paradox. We can't find evidence of extraterrestrial civilizations. Not because they don't exist, but because our comprehension is limited to the human perspective. We instinctively imagine aliens as little green men, repainted homo sapiens. Meanwhile, they may not possess any of the characteristics we attribute to them. According to the Solaristic Hypothesis, we will not recognize the creations of an alien civilization, even if they're right in front of us. Are you suggesting this is what we're dealing with on Regis 3? I, I don't know. Oh, maybe that's why I won't know. I feel helplessness speaking through you. I'm not saying this reproachfully. I know the feeling all too well. At times, I also feel utterly powerless. Even as a commander, or perhaps especially as a commander, I remember a mission. Maybe the Alliance knows more, since we know nothing. Either way, the bar is set low. Yeah, Doctor, I'm aware that the Commonwealth has its shortcomings. Budget constraints, unclear directives, excessive bureaucracy. I've faced the forces of the Alliance many times in my long and bumpy career, and objectively, I can't say that they are any better. Once they abandoned one of their military vehicles because it simply got stuck in the mud. Another time, one of our guys was on a tractor and... Can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. So, so what do we do? We need to change the frequency and encryption key. What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the probe's brain. Luna? What's with... All you have to do is watch it closely. I'm switching now, waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequency is... Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key. The first three digits of the cipher are... Uh, the next is...
yes, sir? Oh, I'm here. Well done. That should buy us some time. So, how should we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? I do. But there's no way I'm going to sleep now. Besides, nothing's stopping me anymore. The storm has subsided. All right. Then let's not risk evacuating directly from the city. It should be safer outside its perimeter. I took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area. Everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe. All you have to do is move away from this cluster of metal. So? Should I go back to the ship? That's an odd question. Of course you should come back. Now even more than ever. Very concerned for your safety, Doctor. Uh, no need to be. I'm fine. I think I've gone far enough. There is a vast open area in front of me. As the city is no longer visible. We need to decide what to do next. Dragonfly, over. Are you there? Yes, yes, please excuse me. I was in the infirmary. Is the coast clear? Yep, all clear. Good. Give me a moment. I'm looking at the satellite images. on Koval, by any chance? Yes, among other things. And? How is he? He's stable. But? There are no buts, Doctor. You'll see him soon. All right, I've got it. Sector AZ-25... Let's say AZ-2504. Please check if it's fit to land. inside. So that's how it's going to end. Half our crew is dead and I'm running with my tail between my legs. Not all missions are successful, Doctor. At this stage, we have to save whatever we can. We have to save you. You understand that, don't you? Yes, sir? Are you sure that's all we can do? Don't you even think about it. About what? You didn't let me finish, sir. Yeah, but I know what might be on your mind. Going back for Gorski's body, contacting the Alliance, or continuing research on your own. These are not possibilities. They're certain death. Please remember, we have just one lander left. As a commander, I must first ensure your safe return. Only then I'll send Artie with other 
tasks. understand the position you put me in. As a commander, now I have to decide whether to risk detection by the Alliance. Because by putting yourself in their hands, you're risking not only your own life, but also the rest of the crews. I'll understand if you find it necessary to leave. I would do it if I were you. Well, then you're lucky I'm me. Please don't turn off your radio. I'm not going anywhere. Is hidden. You've yet to find a convenient hideout for yourself from where you can see their base. Oh shit. I think I'm too far away. I headed into the open area. Don't panic. Since no one's interrupted us, I'll assume they haven't located you yet. Some object is flying over their base. Can you tell me more? It's a field base. Multi-module. For about several dozen people. 
rather well equipped. Huh. Has lots of transporters here. I'm not surprised. Missions with a large crew, transport modules are an integral part of the field camp. Remind me. How many crew members were they supposed to send on the Invincible? Over a hundred. Great. They have a second antimat. As if the first one wasn't enough. Is it active? Uh, probably not, but Proton alone knows. What about people? Can you see anyone? Not yet. Maybe they're hiding in modules. Most... I see someone. Just one? For now, yes. Is that all? I think so. And please keep going. We can assume that their equipment has already detected your presence. Or it will soon enough. There's no point in further postponing the inevitable. Oh, yeah. Well, that was a waste of time. Judging by your observation, this is a research camp, not a military one. Which increases your chance of survival and decreases the likelihood of detecting the dragonfly. I don't know about you, but this is a valuable piece of information for me. Most likely lose contact soon. So let me be clear. Your situation is highly precarious. You cannot trust the Alliance or expect them to be willing to help. If things don't go our way, I'll do everything in my power to negotiate your safe return to the Commonwealth. Worst case scenario, we'll opt for a prisoner exchange. Until then, please cooperate with them. And during the interrogation, don't resist. Astrobiologists generally do not possess information that's sensitive to the Commonwealth. At worst, you'll give away the details of our last mission. Of course, it would be better if that didn't happen. But I know their methods of interrogation, and in all fairness, they're very effective. Hang on, sir. I'm not going there to give away secrets. On the contrary, I'm the one with questions. I need to find out what's going on. I'm afraid it's not that simple. Your only chance to get any information out of them is to offer something in return. Prove that you're a valuable... Hostage? <laughs> I was looking for a better word, but yes, a valuable hostage. Access to the base is protected by a force field. If these are Dirac emitters, and I'm sure they are, nothing will get through. Is there an opening from the other side? I'll see. Since we have no idea what's going to happen, I want you to know that you were always a fair commander, even if you were quite strict. I guess what I'm trying to say is... Please, stop, Doctor. You tell me when you get back, in person. Understood? Yes, sir. There's no one here. Nobody. Impossible. Even if there aren't many of them in the camp, someone would have noticed you. I'm not blind, sir. There's really no one here. Don't get out yet. Could be some kind of trick. 
Not a living soul. Better for your safety if they make the first move. If you really don't see anyone. All right, then. Enter the base. Just slowly, with your hands up. to lose anyway your life doctor the silhouette i saw yes it's just a robot going in. Clear. For now? I can't hear anyone either. Thank you. 